Um, I will now welcome John Aldak, the Member of Parliament for Cloverdale Langley City. Thank you. <laughs> really, how do you follow Anita? It's uh, always a, a tough issue. It's a real pleasure to be here this morning. Thank you so much for the invitation to join you. I'm here representing our government, uh, as well as my colleagues, uh, Ken Hardy, uh, Souk, uh, Dollywall and Randeep Sarai, the other uh, Surrey um, Liberal members of Parliament uh, for our team. So I'm John Aldig, Member of Parliament for Cloverdale Langley City. And uh, I want to thank everybody, all of the organizers. I know how much an event like this, how much work it takes, so thank you for all of the work you've done to pull together this, uh, what's I'm sure going to be an amazing event. I'm uh, really pleased to be here to bring uh, greetings and a few comments on behalf of the Government of Canada. Black entrepreneurs make important contributions to Canada's economy and society every single day. Last summer, I had the chance to speak with Dr. Lloyd Jura, who is doing incredible work in the realm of cybersecurity and information technology with Jura Technologies, Inc. I also hear the Caribbean food at De Reggae Cafe off King George Boulevard is phenomenal. The government recognizes that despite these amazing contributions, many black business owners continue to face systemic barriers to success. And that's why our government invested over $265 million into Canada's first ever black entrepreneurship program, which was co-developed with the black community. Since its launch in 2021, the program has helped more than 5,000 black business owners and entrepreneurs access mentorship, business training, and finance to help their businesses grow and succeed both now and into the future. The black entrepreneurship program has three components. First of all, there's a $100 million National Ecosystem Fund, which has funded 43 not-for-profit organizations across Canada that are delivering mentorship, business training, and financial planning services to businesses. The government also provides funding to the Black Entrepreneurship Loan Fund through the nonprofit organization FACE, which provides loans up to $250,000 to black business owners and entrepreneurs. Finally, the $5 million Black Entrepreneurship Knowledge Hub aims to conduct qualitative and quantitative research and collect data on the state of black entrepreneurship in Canada, as well as to help identify black entrepreneurs' barriers to success, as well as opportunities for growth. The success of Canada's economy depends on the full and equal participation of all Canadians. The Black Entrepreneurship Program is helping black business owners and entrepreneurs overcome barriers to capacity building and financing by providing them services co-developed and delivered by black Canadians. Our government knows there is more work to be done, but this program demonstrates that the systemic barriers faced by black entrepreneurs can be overcome. Thank you again for inviting me to be here today. I look forward to speaking with many of you uh, this morning at, the, uh, at your booths, and I uh, hope today's Black Business Expo is a huge success. Thanks for being here, and have a wonderful day.